Thanks for coming back. In part two, we'll make the second pot the same as we did the first, but without the letters. We'll seal them both, clean them, and then they'll be finished. Stay tuned. We make the second pot exactly as we made the first one. The only difference in this pot will be, it'll be a different picture and we're not going to add words. Cover your entire pot in pattern paper, tissue paper, or even crushed newspaper, whichever you prefer. Let it dry completely, then paint that white, making it a ready canvas to paint on. Paint whatever suits you. I like painting landscapes because they are simple to do and quick to paint. A brightly painted plant pot really livens up a dark corner of a room. Some of the wrinkles in the paper are great for tree trunks, which makes the whole landscape go even quicker. Since this is a pot decorating video and not a how to paint video because I just dabble myself, we'll hurry up through this and finish the pots off. Okay, this is my finished pot. Now, like the first time, we will first seal the pot with spray sealer, which will seal the watercolor and prevent it from smearing when we seal it a second time with craft glue. Seal the pot with craft glue twice, letting it dry completely in between each coat. You can seal the pot one of several ways. The two ways I use most often are either the clear exterior sealer or the poly resin. Now, either one, depending on your finish, they each, they, I, both pots of mine I keep outside and they both give a really good finish. The black and white pots shown here are actually gift wrapping paper that I have sealed with the exterior ultra clear sealer. You give it maybe two or three coats, but it does give a good sealer and I do keep that black and white pot outside. The rest of these pots, as well as the pots in the video, are sealed with the poly resin. It gives it a high gloss um, plastic type feel that's very durable and very good when you keep your plants outside as I do. Now I didn't film the actual application of the resin on my plant pots because it's a very messy process and I didn't want my camera getting messy. Plus time is at the essence. You have to get that the two equal parts mix together quickly and on your project before it hardens. The resin forms tiny little air bubbles that have to be dispersed. I use a butane blowtorch. You can also blow through a straw but it's very exhausting and time consuming. So if you're going to do a lot of this I suggest investing in a reusable, I mean sorry, a refillable butane blowtorch. Okay, when it's all finished, it'll be, you know, gives it a plastic-like feel, shining. So you remove the um, masking tape from around the rim. That might take you a little bit of time. And you also remove the protective tape from around the bottom. I like to cut it and sort of make a... Um, a seam, I guess, or a place where the knife, where it can split, and then you can pull the tape off. Like so. And when it's all clean, <laughs> when it's all clean, you have a nice pretty pot. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this method of taking a dirty old plant pot and making it new again. Thanks for watching. Bye.